Okay, and this one's uh, finding the distance between cities, but only when those cities are north to south of each other. So if one city's up here and one city's down there, we can find the distance. Now that's different to our last video when we were finding the angular distance. This time we're going to find the actual distance, as in distance in kilometres. Okay, I promise this video is not going to be as long as the last one, because most of the hard work's already been done. Okay, so here's a question that we can look at. Uh, find the distance between 30 degrees north, 40 degrees east, and 70 degrees north, 40 degrees east. Now remember, we're finding the distance, not the angular difference, which is what we were doing in the last video. Except, the first step to a question like this, step one, is to find the angular difference. Now I like to get out my map, which I prepared earlier. I need to find the distance between these two points, 30 degrees north, 40 degrees east, which is this point here, and 70 degrees north, 40 degrees east. Okay, so we need to find that distance there. Now if it's 70 up to there, and it's 30 up to there, we can find the angular difference, and I'm going to do that. You can just write it as angular difference, A-N-G-D-I-S, equals, now in this case it's going to be 70, this length, minus this length, 30. 70 minus 30. So the angular difference is 40 degrees. Equals 40 degrees. Now this second step here is really, really simple. Step 2 multiply by 111.2 kilometers. Now the reason for that is pretty straightforward. One degree on a map of the world is equal to 111.2 kilometers. So this step never ever changes. So distance equals, and you can remember this formula, distance equals angular difference times 111.2. You're going to have to remember that number, keep it in your head, do something like that. Now the angular difference in this case is 40. We're still multiplying it by 111.2. Type that into my calculator. 40 times 111.2. I get 4,448 and that distance is in kilometres. So the big payoff here, and this is, video is really going to be quite short, as long as we know the angular difference between two cities, as long as they are north to south of each other, that is directly below each other, we can find the distance by first finding the angular difference, which is what we did in the last video, and then multiplying it by 111.2, and that will give us our final answer. Okay, um, that's finding the distance between two cities. Remember, it will only work from north to south. In our next video, we'll figure out how to do that if cities are from east to west. It's uh, a little more complicated.